This is a demo of a color tracker for PD. So the idea is that when a particular primary color enters or leaves an area in the webcam's view, the, a unique event can be triggered on and off. So the tracker allows us, first of all, to choose a webcam. So um, maybe you only have one webcam, but this particular laptop has two. Uh, it has the integrated webcam that you're seeing right now, and I also have attached a PS3i to the USB. Um, I don't feel like staring at myself through this video, so um, I'm going to use that one. So I can choose the webcam right down here, and so I choose the PS3i. Hello. So um, now, um, for this demo, um, we're going to track. Um, I bought these 300 pony, 300 ponies from Dollar General for $1.07, including tax. And um, it has colors like this. Here's the green. Here's the blue, the red. <laughs> and here's blue. And you'll see that we have a greenish blue uh, wall behind us. So we have an extra challenge here um, in terms of tracking these. So the idea with the tracker is that we have these boxes with unique IDs, sizes, and placements. And um, the first thing that we might want to do is actually move those around and choose where they are. So to do that, we go to this area called trigger boxes and we open that. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. Sorry, I was just closing something I forgot to close before. So here you can see that there's four of these for the four boxes. But let's start fresh and um, just start with one box. So I'm deleting all this. I just have one box right here. And you can see it's green, and it's labeled green right here. It's got an ID of 1, and its size is as big as I can make it. So first, I can drag this and move it wherever I want. So if I wanted to track this area, I could. If I wanted to change it to blue, I could. Now you can see it says blue down here. If I wanted to change the size of the detected area, I can do that as well. And then I can change its ID. So let's stick with green, keep it at 1. Now to create a new one, a new box, and we can create as many as we want with as many different IDs and colors as we want, um, restricted to the primary colors. I just um, selected all of that and copied it. So let's do red. Now you can see the red went right on top of the green. That's not so convenient for us. So we can hit set to move red to the center. And that allows us to drag it wherever we want again. So I dragged it there just for fun. I'm giving it an ID of three, and I'll make this one a slightly smaller size just for variety. Let's make a new one. How about another red one? I'm going to make this one with ID 4. It's on top of the other red one, so I'm going to hit the set button to move it to another area, uh, to the center area. It's already red. Um, here, I'll make it bigger, just uh, give myself nice big targets. We'll create a blue one. Clicking on blue, you can see it says blue down there, changing the size of it, centering it, moving it where I want it, uh, and giving it an ID of 1. So now we've created our boxes. We could create more if we wished. If I were to save the file right now, uh, the placement and size and unique IDs of these boxes would also be saved. So that's pretty convenient. Now. Um, the next thing that we have to do is calibrate the tracker to be able to catch these colors. So you, um, we have some, um, here are our three filters, the red, green, and blue filter. We'll start with the red one since it's the first one over here. Now um, over here we can see, uh, I cannot see the webcam at all. I can totally see everything the webcam is seeing. Or I can see it through the filter of red, green, or blue. So um, first um, I'm going to turn the filter completely off and you can see already that the air, the, this little blue ball which shows what's tracking is getting confused because there's no filter to help it. So I'm going to look at what it's seeing now. Here's what it's seeing. So every little bit of red it is exaggerated. Now, I don't like that so obviously because I can't really track that. So I'm going to say if, um, if, there, uh, if there's more green than this certain amount then don't show it. So you can see that um, the, the more it looks for green, the less it sees. Um, so first, before I even do this, let's go back to the webcam. And you can see I'm going to hold this piece. This is what I wanted to see. So at the end, when all the filtering is done, ideally it sees this piece and only this piece and nothing else. So I'm going to go back to the red filter. It's obviously seeing a lot. So I'm going to turn up the green. And you can start to see. Um, the piece I'm holding plus my hand 
Now, if I keep going, I lose, I start not being able to see the piece I'm holding, so I don't want to go that far. I'd rather try to filter out some blue. And you can see I can filter out a lot of blue. Now, this says, um, unless it has a certain amount of red, I don't want to see it. Ah, there we go. So now we can really see this piece. And uh, I think maybe if I, if I turn down the green just a little, I might have been a little... There, that's tracking pretty well. So you can see as I move it around that the blue, um, I'm sorry, the red circle is following me. And if I shut off the webcam, it becomes even clearer how I'm moving around. That's a little jerky, so um, I can change the size. I just squeezed the pony a little bit. You can see I'm, it's a little smaller now. And so that's able to smooth it out a little bit. It's just a small piece now. Okay, let's do the same with the green. So what we did first was we moved everything here. You can see the green's really confused. Now we look through the green filter. I'm holding a green piece. There it is. And we have a blue-green wall, so there's some challenge here. There it is, but it's also seeing a lot of the wall. It seems like it's pretty hard to filter that out. There we go. Green is a bit of a challenge here, but it is working. You can see me moving it around. It's a little jerky. It's having some trouble with the wall, but it is able to track the green. The blue will be a challenge too, but probably not as bad as the green. I know this because I tried it before I made the video. So we choose blue, filter out the red. First, I'm holding the piece. We filter out the red. See me holding the piece. Filter out green as much as we can. Add blue. There we are. That's nice. See it tracking it. If I shut off the webcam view, you can see that I'm moving the blue pretty well. Left and then right and then left and then right. Okay, so um, one other feature to know about before I show you how to uh, get this information is that you can change the frame rate. Now, we're, um, the frame rate range is from 20 to 60 frames per second. This is a very good laptop, so I can, I'm able to uh, track at 60 frames per second. But if your laptop isn't quite as good or your computer isn't quite as good, you can lower the frame rate to get the results you need. Um, again, now if I save this, not only are all the positions of the boxes saved, but also my calibrations are saved as well. So that's pretty convenient. Now what PD will do, what it's doing, the tracker is doing, is it's sending UDP packets to socket 6001, identifying the color, the identifier, 1, 3, 4 in this case, and whether we're entering or leaving the box with an on or off. And the reason that it's sending it through sockets instead of internally is so that it's possible to um, run a different PD instance to get this information. PD is a single core application, and since most of us have multi-core computers, it's most efficient to um, run a different instance that can run in a different core. So um, for a demo of how this works, I'm going to load in a new um, a, a demo patch that I already made for this. Um, now, <clears throat> first of all, here we're going to be able to see what it is that the tracker is sending. Um, and then uh, what I did was I recorded audio beforehand. Um, if it enters the red 3 box, it'll play red 3 on. If it, if it exits the red 3 box, it plays red 3 off. Same with red 4, blue 1, green 1. So these were all recorded beforehand, um, just saying what is actually happening. Um, and you can see um, how the information is interpreted in PD. When you see it printed out, it might be clear how that works. So the first thing I need to do, of course, is turn audio on. Now, um, let's take our red piece. So first, I'll turn the webcam on so you can see what I'm doing. Um, here's our red piece. Um, you can see that thing tracking it already. Green one, green one, green, <laughs> the green, green one's green, jumping green, around. Green, green I'm just going to raise the filter a little so it doesn't bother us. Okay, so there's the red tracking. Now, as I enter the box, 
Red four on. Red four off. So you can see how that works. Red four on. Red four off. Red three on. Red three off. And you can probably guess this. But if I change the sizes of those, so um, I'm going to make this one much smaller. Red four on. Red four off. I have that kind of control. Okay. So there's the red. Red four, on, red four off. Um, I'm pretty scared of the green, but let's try the blue. Blue, blue one, blue one on. Blue one off. And you can see that these don't trigger it because they're not blue. All right, here we go, the green. I'm gonna. There we go. Green one on. Ah, green one is off. Green one on. Green one is off. Green one. Green one. Green one on. Green. Green one on. Green one. Green one on. Green one is off. Green one. Green one is off. I feel pretty lucky. Okay, we're doing well on the green. Can't get, all right. So that's how this works. Um, I didn't show you what it was printing out. Here we go. So there's their green is the color. One is the identifier and zero is off. As I enter this, you'll see. Green one on. It turns to a one. Green one is off. Turns to a zero. Now let's pick up the blue one. Blue one off. And you can see it's doing the same blue thing. Blue one on. Blue one off. Blue one on, blue one on. So that's the information that's sent through EVP sockets on. Uh, red four on, red four, red three on, red three off. Okay, hope this video helps you out um, and that the color tracker is useful to you.